Okay. Tell me when. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's the question again? Oh, oh you're not gonna ask the question? No. Oh, okay. my youtube channel so for the past few days i've been going around campus asking people what it means to be a young christian to them and how they keep their relationships with god alive so i hope you gain something from this video learn from how people deal with their relationships with god and if you're feeling like you're falling off i hope this helps you to get back onto track so let's go get some answers so being christian to me means that i don't follow the people around me and I keep my focus on God and follow what He wants and follow His will for me. Being a young Christian for me basically means just like pursuing the Lord and, and everything that I do and the little things like my homework, my studies, um, and then the big things like relationships that I have with friends, family, um, yeah, my parents, like all those little things um, is where I live a Christ-like life. Um, and yeah, it's not like switching a button on and off. It's just like pursuing the Lord every single day as much as I can. Okay, so I think for me, I would say that it's just being intentional in your actions, um, making sure that you include God in your daily life every day. Being a young Christian, it's really hard nowadays, especially as Gen Z and how a lot of people aren't growing up in the church like they used to. And so, but being a young Christian, it really makes sets me apart. And what it means for to me to be a young Christian right now is. Having my identity in Christ and not in the things that most people my age will find it in. I would say being a young Christian for me means reflecting Jesus in everything that I do in every aspect of my life. I'm so proud to be a young Christian. I'm Pakistani Christian and I love Jesus a lot. Spending time with God, it's just one of my best hobby. Reading Bible and staying close to Him and Holy Spirit is my best friend. So that's how I feel being a Christian. Okay, well to me what it's like being a young Christian, it's kind of intimidating because you see all of these older people in church that are that have had these relationships for lifetimes and you're just getting started. Um, but the great part about that is that there's so much more that has yet to come and with being a Christian, yeah, there's like so much more abundance that God has for us, and so I think that that's really what it's about, is pursuing holiness, pursuing the Lord in everyday life, um, and expecting that abundance. It's not easy. It's really not easy. But if you have people pouring into you, and you are constantly talking with Jesus, it's possible, and it's great, and it's awesome, and life is just, it's yeah. Basically it means for me is to make mistakes, to grow and learn with God because being young, we fall into the traps of many temptations and it's just important for us to know that it doesn't define us and we can get back up and get back on track at any point in time. You're still young, you still have the rest of your life to go. So if you ever like feel like, oh my gosh, I've done this bad thing, just know that God is always there and you can always just like go back. And that's exactly how I stay in touch with God because I always, I'm like, every time I make a mistake, I'm like, God, I know that wasn't me. I know that wasn't your plan for me, but I always just go back to him and it's always important to know. Um, I think that being a Christian, especially this young, um, is a challenge, but also it's super fun. Like you need to go against the current, like you need to be um, an example for everyone, but also it's super fun to find community uh, and friendships in with people that have your same thoughts and your your same like uh, beliefs, and uh, you get to like know a lot of people and they help you to grow uh, spiritually, mentally, and I don't know. It's just like you find a safe a safe place a safe place um, within your community. Well, being being a young Christian for me, it's uh, continuously pursuing God in every way. That is uh, finding time for intimacy with Him because that is how we pursue God during our time. We can be out there worshiping in groups, but your intimate relationship with him, it's, uh, it's, that's how you grow. Okay, I think being a young Christian is um, accepting that you're, or publicly declaring that you're a follower of Christ, especially in like our day and age, because I feel like that's not something that's 
as common as it was before. And so I think being a young Christian is just being confident in the fact that you are a follower of Jesus and not being ashamed of that. That's what being a young Christian is to me. For me, being a Christian means uh, just demonstrating like the values that I have, uh, giving the love to people, demonstrating uh, the love and servanthood in my friendships and people that I don't know even. So just showing a little bit of what Jesus is in my daily relationships and the way I talk, the way I think. And one of the things that I, I do to keep my relationship with God alive is just being intentional with spending time with Him and glorifying Him for who He is and not based on my circumstance. I think another way to just like keep that alive is staying in the Word, consistently praying, seeking the Lord, um, and like making sure that I hang around people who have the same mindset. That's been something that has really like set me on the path, like right path and not getting misled by, you know, the world and just like people around. The thing I do to maintain my relationship is, for me, it's the PWW. That's prayer, worship, and work. Just give for a second inside. One second. I like to keep my relationship with God alive is honestly just staying in the Word. Because every time I wasn't in the Word every day, I felt myself fall away so quickly. So saying the Word and really just knowing what's wrong I mean, everyone sins, but knowing what's wrong and like, trying not to sin is what keeps God happy and what keeps you closer to Him. And I really think that's what saved my relationship with God. Just trying to incorporate God in your day every day is how I keep um, God in my life. So. I think the best way to keep your relationship alive with God, especially at college age, is to make sure the people around you are also like-minded and Christians and that they'll really hold you accountable for what you say you believe in and also you can hold them accountable for what they believe in and just creating a really good community around your faith. So keeping my relationship with God alive, what I do is I make sacrifices like I just recently deleted all my secular music out of my library and I added in all Christian music so when I want to, when I want to listen to music I just listen to the Christian music and it helps keep my mind in a good place I also read my Bible and I try to watch what I say because I had a bad past with gossiping and I'm just more aware of what comes out of my mouth. So choosing my friends, asking the Lord to give me good friends who keep me grounded. Um, and yeah, pray, fast, seek the Lord in like everything that I do. Um, and yeah, I think like what the Bible says, if you draw closer to him, he will draw even closer to you. So how I keep my relationship alive with the Lord is I spend every single morning with Jesus. And when I say every single morning, there's not a day that I miss um, where I'm not talking with him, where I don't read a little scripture. And um, right now I'm going through Psalms. So it's kind of talking about the Lord is my refuge, I'm talking about his peace, talking about his strength, talking about his dwelling place, things like that. And I'm constantly after you know, reading those scriptures and praying it over myself. God, thank you that this is who you are. Thank you that I get to partner with you um, and change the world because of who you are. And I think it's just that, just being his best friend. And I think falling in love with who he is, that's what's kept it so alive. It's every single day, like, how do you get to know your best friend when you spend time with them? It's the same thing with Jesus. You spend time with them every day and you fall in love with who he is. And, yeah.